Hi, welcome back to the Return Homestead. This morning I'm back in the kitchen. I'll probably be here a lot until the harvest is done. This is the time that gets really busy for me on a homestead property. When you're gardening and trying to raise all of your fruits and vegetables to last you through to the next season. So today I'm making cucumber sandwich pickles. <music> It's a sweeter pickle. It's not one that we have tried before, but I'm gonna give it a go. I've got a lot of cucumbers. So what you wanna do is the recipe calls for two pounds of cucumbers sliced about a quarter inch thick. You're gonna put those into, the bowl, into a bowl. And to that, you're going to add one half cup of salt, non-iodized, and two quarts of water. You're going to make sure that the pickles or the cucumbers stay under the water level. So put a plate or something on top of them. You're gonna wrap it up and let it sit in the refrigerator for a couple hours or overnight. So I've already done that. I have eight pounds of cucumbers, not two, so I'm going to be quadrupling this recipe, but I'll try and give it to you in the one recipe increments. So the recipe, once you get your pickles soaking in brine, you're gonna to have to rinse those off and discard the salted liquid. Then you're going to add three cups of water and three cups of vinegar to a pan and bring it to a simmer. Now, once it simmers, you're gonna add your cucumbers in and you're gonna let them simmer for five minutes. So I'm bringing my vinegar and water up to a simmer now. Okay, now that my water and vinegar have come to a simmer, I'm going to add my cucumbers. The recipe calls for two pounds and I'm adding eight. And you're gonna simmer that for five minutes. Once your cucumbers have simmered for five minutes, you're gonna pour them out into a big colander and let them drain, discarding all of the liquid. Or you can save it and put it on your weeds in your driveway. But just remember, anything you pour it on, it will kill. So make sure you don't have it near any of your garden plants. Now you're going to combine two cups of vinegar and one cup of water per recipe to the pan you're going to add brown sugar and granulated sugar. For each recipe, it's one cup of each. And don't worry, we'll put the recipe up on the screen at the end of the video. You're also gonna add to that one half teaspoon of celery seed, and I'm using brown. One half teaspoon of mustard seed, sorry about that, celery seed, mustard seed, got it. One half teaspoon turmeric, and that all gets put in your sugar water mixture. And you're gonna bring that up to a simmer for 10 minutes. While your liquid is coming to a simmer, you wanna put your water bath canner on to come up to heat. Remember, you want the inside water and what's in your jar to be of a similar temperature. So this is heating up already. I don't know if your stove's like mine, but it takes a while. While you're waiting for your sugar, and spices and vinegar and water to come up to a simmer. You need to get your water bath counter going. You wanna make sure that it's about the same temperature as the liquid that you're putting in the jars so the jars don't break. This recipe makes three pints. So for me, that's 12. And so you wanna have your jars sterilized and clean and ready to get the pickles in it. Once the sugar mixture comes up to a simmer, you're gonna to wanna to put your cucumber slices in there that are draining and let it simmer for five more minutes. So now that my sugar, spices, 
vinegar water have come up to a simmer, I'm going to add the cucumbers. And now that your spice mixture with your sugar and water and vinegar have come up to a simmer, you're going to put your drained cucumber slices into that mixture and bring it to a boil. Then you can turn it off. Once that comes to a boil, you're going to ladle the hot mixture and the, and the liquid into your pint jars, quart jars, whatever you're using, and you're going to debubble them, leaving one half inch headspace. So that's one half inch from the top of the jar. Then you need to put the lid on them and finger tighten the rims. Don't over tighten them. And then we're going to put them in the water bath canner. Okay, now my pickle mixture is come up to a boil, and I'm going to start ladling these into pint jars. Remember, you want to leave one half inch headspace. jars are all full you then want to make sure that you get out any air bubbles by just sticking some people use a chopstick a knife I'm using a Vitamix spatula and you want to make sure your pickles are fairly good below the level of the brine that you made then you're going to take a soft cloth or a paper towel moistened with vinegar. This is sugar. It will prevent your jars from sealing if there's any sugar on the rim. So you want to make sure they're good and clean. Make sure you have a, one, a half inch head space on the jar. And then we're going to put the lids on and finger tighten the rims. Now, if you're doubling the recipe, the original recipe calls for three pints using two pounds. Remember, I quadrupled this recipe. And if all your jars don't fit in the canner at one time, don't fill them. Leave the liquid in the pan because you want to make sure that the temperature of the liquid is equal or close to the temperature in your water bath canner. Remember, just finger tight, not too tight. Oops. There we go again, dropping stuff. And when you put them in the canner, you want to make sure that the liquid goes at least one inch over the top of your jars. And my canner will hold eight pints. Then you want to put the lid on it and process it for 10 minutes at a boil. So I'm going to bring this up to a boil and start my timer. Once you've processed your pickles for 10 minutes, you're going to turn the heat off and let them sit in the canner for about five minutes to let them settle. Once your pickles have set for five minutes in the canner. You're gonna take your canning tongs, remove them and set them out on a towel on the counter. You'll start hearing them pop, but if you don't, just check the little button on top and make sure it's gone down. And you heard the first one already pop. That's the sound you wanna hear. 
I usually dry the tops off because we're on city water here in Nevada. I had a water softener and a whole house reverse osmosis. So I'm not really used to the city water. It's got a very chlorine taste. So we have a reverse osmosis that I use to do all of my cooking and canning with. But I like to dry the lids off because they'll get water spotted and they just look bad. So there you go. I ended up with almost 12 pints of cucumbers, the sweet kind for sandwiches. This will last us all of next year. So if the neighbor brings me any more cucumbers, I'm going to have to come up with something else besides pickles. I have a bunch in the pantry of the zucchini dill pickles and some of them are spicy. Now I have my sweet for next year. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for coming along with me today. In the meantime, I've got to get back to my sourdough bread that I've been making in between the cucumber video. Another YouTuber, Simple Living Alaska, if you haven't watched her, she does a beautiful job of sourdough bread. She explains the whole process. It's her recipe that I use. If you're not making your own bread, you really should, because bread should not stay in the refrigerator for a month at a time without molding. Mine will mold if we don't keep it in the refrigerator. It's fresh, it's water, salt, and flour, that's it. And it's the best bread you will never want to buy store bread again. So thank you for coming along with me today and joining me in the kitchen. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this recipe. I'm not a sweet pickle eater. I like dill pickles better and the spicier the better. But these are good, so I'm glad I made them. Well, until we see you on the next video, bye-bye.